All right, we're gonna hit this with black so it pops. I hope it doesn't fly off. Yeah, and it flew off. So now my toe's black. This is just from storm surge, y'all. From the storm surge, that house looks like it's about halfway underwater. Uh, the water is still rising. So it looks and, like Ryan uh, Hollyall is covering the hurricane really nice. He's got 88,000 people watching. Is, you know, this almost 89. Is uh, Let's get out there and work on the uh, 80 mile grill. Leading up to this event, All right, if you have a wheat stomach, you might want to look away here. So just kind of look away for a little bit and uh, I'll get this done and everything's going to be all right. We'll do something fun with these. Uh, another stupid idea that Chevy had. Uh, almost just as bad as putting wood in the bed of a truck. But yeah, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to strategically, uh, let's see, what's the best way to do this? We'll just grab it right here. And then I'm going to knock off the back side too. So there we go. We'll do something fun with these. We'll have a little art project with those. Yeah, I don't know what's going through an engineer's mind when they do stuff like this. Let's put little bitty thin pieces of plastic in the grill of a truck. So if a piece of raw a gravel hits it, it's going to knock the piece out. It's not going to protect the radiator. Because you can look and see, look, that one's broke. That one's broke. I didn't do anything on this side. This one's broke. This one's already broke. And it looks crappy. It just looks like the truck is just, it just looks, if you're worried about looks, this looks like crap. And I'm doing this for function and fashion. One of the main reasons why I'm doing this is so I can get to the horn wire to pull the horn wire so I can work on the horn without pulling the damn grill off like I did last time. And you're asking, well, why? Did not just pull the relay horn, the horn relay. Well, if I'd have poured, pulled the horn relay last night to fix the horn, then I would not have been able to hear the relay clicking to know if I'm working, if the horn is functioning correctly or not without the horn going off. And yeah, then I could have pull, pulled the horn relay and then hooked up a 12 volt light and done all that stuff to chase that down. But it's, it was, I needed to take this grill off anyway because I need to stop some of the rust in the front of the truck. And I plan on uh, painting the front black behind this grill to stop some of the rust. So we're going to carry on doing this. Yeah, what brainiac came up with this idea to put thin pieces of plastic in the front of a truck where debris is going to be hitting it? And you know, you think, oh, well, I'll leave this part. No, nope. we're not even leaving that one. They're all going. GM, putting the be uh, fuel tank in the 65 Chevy behind the seat of the, the truck in the cab was a moronic idea. Putting wood in the bed of a truck was a moronic idea. So stop doing crazy stuff. Just like putting chips in uh, <clears throat> trucks. We don't need chips. Here's a perfect example. This truck behind me, the one I'm working on right now, is uh, what? It's an 80 model, so however old it is. Um, what is it? Let's see, it's 2022. You do the math. Isn't it like 46 years old or something? Anyway, <clears throat> the truck is old, but guess what? It sat there for five years. I've, uh, you know, I restored it once before, and it sat up again. Uh, when Grandpa died, uh, the reason why I inherited the truck because I was the family shade tree mechanic, and everybody knew I could take care of it. Um, I brought it back to life then. So I've brought this truck back to life three times, and never have I had to replace a computer chip. And the truck's just rusting up. But the engine will always start. You could not do that with a modern day vehicle. 
So they had everything else perfect on this truck except uh, hubcap colors. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fix that. And, uh, and nonsense like this. And uh, as far as interior goes, they should have never put this color in any vehicle ever. This should be against the law. There should be laws against this color right here to be in any vehicle. Um, every vehicle should have a tilt steering wheel. Um, that's uh, something I'm going to be looking for to replace this steering column is to put a tilt wheel column in there eventually. Um, and every truck should have been double cab or extended cab. So that's the only flaws that I see back then when Chevy uh, was built this truck. And this truck should have been a straight six instead of a V8. But that's other than that, it's a, it's a good truck. But this, I mean, really, what were they thinking? So I just have to uh, ask, you know, who came up with this idea of putting thin little pieces of plastic? And see, look, it's just so brittle. It's just cracking, just already cracked. I'm going to finish this up, and I might go as far as to cut these little knobs off the end here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That way I'm not cutting my hand on these when I'm reaching in here to work on stuff. So it's going to look good. Trust me. Um, I'm going to see if I can pull this emblem out before I paint. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull that off um, without bending it up. So uh, it'll probably just be painted white, but there's no thing screwed in there. So I might do something cool with that. I might uh, build my own emblem and paint it a different color and put it on there, but I don't need to advertise for Chevy, so I don't really care if that's there or not. So I'm gonna carry on with this. We're gonna pressure wash it. I'm gonna pressure wash the front of the truck, and here's why. I'm not gonna get too close to anything so I don't mess up the connections here, but um, see all this rust? I got all this rust. I don't know if you can see that. I want to stop all this rust. While I got the grill off, I'm going to hit this with black. And I'm going to straighten out some of these fins on the air conditioning system. Or what is that? Uh, is that a oil cooler? Or is that the air conditioner? It's a transmission cooler. Yeah, wow. That is a transmission cooler. Is it? I'm going to have to look and investigate. Let's see what that is. Is that AC or transmission cooler? That is, <clears throat> that is, that's air conditioner. Okay. So yeah, I was going to say that's a huge transmission cooler. Yeah, I don't know where the transmission cooler is. I know it's got to have one. At least you would think it would. My Dodge has a transmission cooler. So anyway, I'm going to stop all this madness, straighten these fins out on the AC and clean this up before I paint it. And um, like I said, hit it with black. And that way the white grill will pop good on the black background. All right, so that's all of our pieces. We'll do something fun with that in the winter time for our art project when it's too cold to work outside. So we're gonna put this in a safe spot right here. And we can't forget about that, so we got to definitely... Oh, and this is what I was looking for the other day to take the uh, the, the keeper clamps off of the uh, windshield knob in the 80 model. So I found that, and I found this tool, and I also found my other tool. So, yeah. A little bit late now. All right, so this file here with a little bit coarser... On it. It's going to work really good. So I'm going to work on this. I'm going to do all the bottom first on the outside. While I'm in here, I'm just going to scrape out the uh, little tree algae stuff that's been growing in there. And we're going to get this thing better than new. So it's going to be a definite upgrade. So I'm going to work my way all the way around the outside. And then I'll work on the insides and then we'll see what we got. Just like anything I do, especially with this truck, it's taking a little longer than I expected. 
but well, I ended up using this uh, coarser file here. It works way better than the uh, metal, you know, the ones that you'd have to finer than this. You don't want to use this. I used this for five seconds and figured out, no, it's not happening. So you can see the difference. This is where it's at. And I'm using the straight side. But yeah, this is taking a little bit longer than I thought. But uh, I'm doing my best to take it easy today. Uh, I'm uh, regrouping on the 65 on what I'm going to do with the layout on the back. You know, that's just fun stuff, and we got to get things fixed here still. Um, I got plenty of time to, to engineer something for the uh, layout and the platform. So we're going to continue with this shaky footage here for five seconds. And uh, I'll probably have this done in about another 30 minutes or so. Could take an hour, but look at what it's looking like so far. On the bottom, where I've already filed it, you can't even tell they're there. So I've done the whole bottom there. I've done the top. You can't even tell they're there. So I got all the out the insides to do once I get this other side done. So we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. So I discovered that when it's sitting up like this, some of these you can still see that little bit of a, a notch there. So the ones on the bottom, I'm hitting them a little bit again because you could still see a little bit sticking up. And I got to go at a pretty harsh angle here because I don't want any of those to show when I'm done. And two and a half hours. This thing will be prepped in about four hours. So I'll probably have to spend four hours on it. But I'm uh, over halfway there. All right, so we're going to take our gopher sand here. Just going to put it all over here. We're going to load our brush up here. I'm going to scrub this uh, emblem first. So when we do put something back in there, it's going to stick really good. So we're going to get all that old glue. I've already scraped as much as I can out. So what I'm going to do is hit it with the overall big brush first. So I'm going to load up my big brush like this. I'm going to load that sucker up. It's good old gopher sand. Gophers do have a purpose, giving us good sand like this. And we're just going to hit it like this for a while. And then I'll work with the smaller brush. And then we'll see what we end up with. All right, so let's see if the pressure washer is going to start. Take it off choke. And let's see what we get.
All right, I'm gonna rinse it off a little bit more and let it dry and hit it with white. All right, we're gonna hit her with white here, semi-gloss. I'm gonna shake the can up for about a couple of minutes here and do the first coat and we'll see what the first coat looks like and go from there. All right. I'm gonna go on with one coat here. This will take a while and then we'll see what we got. That's about one and a half coats, almost two coats there. So I'm gonna put the whole can on it. It's about eight, uh, six bucks a can. So I think the grill's worth six dollars. So we're gonna spend six dollars on it. All right, so that should do the trick. I taped it. We'll let that dry for a little bit. I'll hit it with a couple more coats. All right, so now we're just gonna hit this with a little black in the spots that stick out. So like right here. I'm gonna get that. I need a gun. And then these spots right here. We're gonna hit with black and I'm gonna do this all this stuff in here so it's got a really black background so the grill pops really good so I had just enough leftover paint in this can I found this in the backyard it's this uh, rust-oleum high heat flat black it's for barbecue pits so I had just enough to hit everything so if you come back here and look it's nice and dark looking now it doesn't have any uh, shiny spots for the most part or any rust so we're going to put the emblem on the grill and put the grill in here and hopefully do that without messing up the paint because it's still a little bit tacky so gm's not sponsoring this video but we'll go ahead and advertise for them anyway so that's how the emblem turned out i don't have any glue so i'm going to use paint as a glue so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to just hit this spot right here where the emblem's going to go with some paint. Like that. Let it get tacky for a second. So clean this tip off. And then, by the time we get back over there, we should be able to drop our little... Uh, General Motors emblem in there. We've really got one chance at this. And, um, yeah. Like that. And then I'm going to get a paper towel and, or my, uh, I can get my shirt here. I don't want any fingerprints on that because that emblem's a little bit tacky yet. And then we're going to uh, do our best not to get any um, of this shirt on the stuff that we painted already. So I'm just going to give it some light presses here. And um, that's going to stick pretty good. We'll use the paint as the glue. And hopefully not getting any fingerprints on that. And we'll hit it down here, right there. And then we're going to go ahead and put it on the truck. We're going to go set it in the truck right now and see what we got. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Now that's called popping. That pops. So I'm going to adjust my camera up here. This is the part where going to be a little bit tricky to do this without scratching anything. I think I'm going to go in with the bottom first. There's a an armadillo rooting around in the yard, it sounds like, next door. 
All right. So can we get this to stay in there without that it falling out? Well, that would suck if it fell out, wouldn't it? All right. We're going to step back and see what we got. And I'll be jumping forward if I see that thing coming forward. So that's what we got. That's a definite upgrade. And I'm going to put the screws in it. I'm going to take it back out real quick before I, uh, so it doesn't fall. So this grill has always been loose. And I discovered that these little plastic things, another thing I have to fix, GM engineers putting plastic on plastic, not, not a good thing whenever this is plastic, that's metal. Just give me a, a screw, a bolt, something. So I'm gonna upgrade it to these wall anchors and they fit in that hole perfectly and that will work perfectly back here. They won't spin. They shouldn't go sideways. If they do, I'll put a washer back there. I might put a washer anyway, but uh, we'll see how that works. And now this grill won't be flopping around like it's been for the last 10 or 15 years. Here's another reason why this is an upgrade. I'm gonna lift that up. Is you could not have done this before with the, um, the way the grill was designed with those little bee things of plastic in there. Now I'm reaching in there. I'm able to get to the back of that drywall anchor. And then I'm coming in here without scratching anything. And I'm reaching in there, tightening that up. This will be the first time this grill has been actually secure in the truck. So look at that. Let's see if we got it even. That's pretty damn gum close. So yep. There we go. Let me take off this other stuff. So we use these. This stuff was shattered on the left. So I'm gonna put these in the glove compartment and um, we're gonna get this out of the way for our overall shot. Mosquitoes uh, are biting right now, so it's feeding time for the skeeters. So I'm done with my projects for the day. And I use this thing to swat them, it zaps them and it works good and I get under my mosquito fan so there we go that's a definite upgrade this part of the truck looks really nice there's a contrast ratio once I wash the truck again there's uh, all this aphid poop look at all that poop it's covering everything golf cart everything out here so it's pretty nasty but once I wash it again it'll pop better um, but yeah, that definitely is an upgrade. Now it's uh, talking to you. Look at that. That black and white. And then you come around here and you open the door and you're going to start seeing a little theme here. Look at that. Black and white. All right. So what I got plans for this, this steering wheel is going to be white. Of course, this will stay black, the grip part. This is going to be white. This part of the dash is going to be white. This will probably be black. So the brown stuff right now is going to be black. This will be white. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do with where it says custom deluxe. That'll probably be white as well. Um, so yeah, it's going to be black and white, black and white. And then this kind of stuff here is going to be probably white. I haven't decided yet. Maybe black. Who knows? Black might look good there. And then I'm going to put a seat cover. Oh, and I found my snack, snap ring, so let's, um, we can put that on later. But yeah, here's the snap ring that was under the truck. And I found my snap ring tool, so that's not an issue anymore. Listen to how this door shuts now. There's no rattling like it was before. So there we go. That was a good upgrade for the day. And um, if you saw the very beginning... I cut out all those plastic pieces there. Uh, you, you saw the video, but all the plastic nonsense that was in between all that just looked stupid. Now I can reach in here and hook the horn up. So right now I have my hand on the horn wire and I can hook the horn back up if I want to right there. So I don't trust the horn mechanism just yet to hook it back up. So 
that was the whole point of taking the grill off. <laughs> so the fact that I had the grill off, I um, went ahead and upgraded it. So this is one of those cases where just because you change something, you're thinking you're making it better, it applies. So this is not a downgrade. Once I get the headache rack painted white, the, um, the bumper is going to be this same color. It's going to pop. It'll match. Uh, the mirrors, just little stuff like that. And I might do some touch-up work on this whole thing just to stop the rust. I just want to stop it from rusting. This thing's rusting really bad. So I just want to stop the madness. All right. Well, like, share, subscribe. I'm going to go in there and read the comments from the last video. I, I'm uh, getting faster at doing this. So I'm um, the video I just posted a little bit ago, I'm, my, my videos are going to be the day of that work that I did instead of the day before. So now I've got my system to where I can do whatever I do today is going to be posted tonight. So... Or at one o'clock in the morning or whatever, but it should be able I should be able to post it every night. So what I'm doing now will be posted today. So technically three videos are going up today. Um, because I'm I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm I'm able to do what I need to do. So like, share, subscribe, and yeah, I'm wearing this thing around my neck. Um, appreciate all the support. Um, I'm walking around with this thing strapped on me all day. So I can bring this footage to you and just show you what I would normally be doing. Um, this is stuff that I would normally be doing. I'm not doing this for uh, getting content. I'm doing this because this is what I do when I'm not uh, doing work at the radio station. So, so that's just uh, how it works. You know, I'm always working on stuff. I think the next project is going to be, uh, I'm going to go back to the 65 and regroup on the layout to design something because I'm not paying $54 for a piece of plywood that I'm going to cut uh, almost half of it off and not use per piece, you know, 54 bucks. So that's like a hundred and twenty dollars after tax for some plywood that I'm going to be cutting up. That's going to warp. It's not going to be the way I want it anyway. So I'm going to regroup on that project and, uh, use the materials I have around here because I don't like spending money on projects. So like, share, subscribe, and uh, let's get to reading the comments on the video that I just posted. Two videos to give shout outs to. I've got a system where I'm caught up now with, uh, I'm getting faster at, um, at doing this video stuff. So in the video that I do when I post it, it's going to be from that day instead of like a day and a half delay or whatever it's been. So today, three videos are posting, so I've caught up. So uh, let's see. Shout out to uh, Katie. How it says how fun. So this is the video of uh, 65. We worked on the uh, 80 model yesterday. This is the video. Whenever I tell everybody I'm going to put slot cars and trains in the 65. Of course, I'm regrouping on that because I don't want to. I'm not spending $250 on materials for that because after the indoor outdoor carpet and the plywood, that's about $250. I'm not putting that kind of money into that. So I'm going to make something with nothing like I normally do. And uh, anyway, so Katie said, How fun, vote for the toy track. Yeah, I'm going to use that for sure, the one with the skulls on it. And the green, the indoor outdoor carpet, uh, I could key it out. For green screen but it's not going to be fluorescent looking so uh oa says skull theme track for the win on green all right uh loud red the skull track with the black background um yeah the black background um yeah i still don't know if i'm even going to use indoor outdoor carpet at this point because i'm not using the plywood kca tv that's my dad the 65 will be a hit on the car show i'm hoping so I'm hoping I'll make it. Uh, Raven King said definitely green. That's for the uh, indoor outdoor. We the People says uh, number three on the likes. That means he was the number one third person to like the video. And Freedom Phoenix says nice fry and with a thumbs up. All right, so let's go back here. How do we go back here and get to the other video? 
Let's uh, close this. I haven't done this before. We'll just... Uh, All right, and this is the video I just posted earlier today. So there'll be three videos posted today instead of just one so I can get all caught up. All right, so this one um, doesn't have any, many comments yet because I just posted it, but Sun Honey Studio says, shop local, buy local, a powerful tool for freedom. That's for sure. And uh, let's see, Monica Peterson says, this is gonna be rad. Yep, it's gonna be fun once I figure out how exactly I'm gonna put the layout in there and the rest of these comments. Uh, are not in English. Let's see, translate to English. Let's see, hi, I really admire something. Dun, 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 dun. This is what I've been waiting for all this time. Um, all right, let me translate that to English. I'm really impressed. Admire your diligence and patience. This is what I've been waiting for all this time. All right, so cool. I don't recognize those uh i can't pronounce those names or recognize them but um yeah i did translate to english cool so they're obviously smarter than me because <laughs> they understand english and they speak a different language i'm still working on the whole english language thing so as you can see in the video if you watch it i went to the hardware store and um the plywood was a uh, 54 bucks per sheet and I was going to be not even using but barely over half of each sheet. So I would have been wasting the wood and money. And then I'd have to spend $120 on indoor-outdoor carpet. So there's about $250 in materials. And I wouldn't really have it like I want it to because it's going to add so much weight to the back of the truck that I don't want to add. And I really don't want the layout right up on the top of the bed. I want it kind of sunk in a little bit just in case one of the trains tip over if I'm in a parade or something it doesn't fly out on the street so and I'm not putting rails on the side like someone had suggested so anyway love you all if you haven't already please like it's and share and subscribe liking is really important to push the videos up in the algorithm subscribing is free and so is sharing on your social media love you all and we'll do this again tomorrow